What is up guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is a very cold and rainy day here in New York. We are going to Jersey City with a ferry right now. I'm on a ferry to get the Cybertruck, the brand new 2024 Cybertruck. <laughs> car that's available uh here in the new york city area so the weather is pretty bad but we'll try to get the best content that we can the statue of liberty over here oh, we're almost to the destination we're almost in jersey city i will let you guys know how the car is once we get there but for now let's get some b-rolls of a rainy city Edges are pretty loud here. I got inside because uh, it's super cold out there. I know the views are beautiful, but no view is worth like my health. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're going to Jersey City to check out the car. I'm going to mention how much it cost. Roughly, Tesla Cybertruck all wheel drive 2024 is. Ending up costing $826.28. So what the client's charging me is $399. And there's a trip fee from Turo. They're overcharging their people out there. It's $375.94. That's a trip fee that's that Turo's charging. And plus there's like $51.35 of the sales tax and uh, that is it, $826 for one day. It is very expensive to read these out because the people who bought it know that most people are trying to review it, especially influencers, and there's like a gap to make money right now uh, from uh, cyber trucks. So if you guys enjoy these kinds of contents, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and comment because I am basically, I have no uh, sponsorships on these videos and I don't make money at all from YouTube. Yeah, so with that being said, please uh, give us a follow on all of, all of our social platforms and uh, let our day start. So we have to pick up the truck from a mall in Jersey City. Let's do it. So we are out of the ferry. Now got to order an Uber. All right, so it took me a little while to get to the Turo host and get this beast. It's legit. Cybertruck right here, 101. Pretty insane, guys. But before we do anything, let's inspect it, you know, go around it and uh, get a video of it. Damn, look at this, guys. So I just press this to open a door, fully open. Let's open the back door. Boom. Fully open. Oh, my God. All right. Let's inspect this thing. All right, guys. So finally came by the cycling problem. I'm gonna inspect it real quick to see if there's any debts or damages because Turo will charge me like crazy if you bring it with any debts or any of that. Well, there's a little scratch on the beer, a little bit of stain. So I found a little scratch there. Well, maybe I found some cardboards. Scratch. Scratch in the font. 
This is what everyone is, was talking about. Windshield wiper. There's just a single one. All right, I think we're good. I'm just gonna send the picture to the owner. Yeah, so far we're all set to go to review this thing. I still need to bring it up, see like onto the light because it's pretty dark here. Let's do it. That is the butt that will open the door. You guys have seen the reviews. You guys probably know, but let's get in. Crazy. So it's 90% charged. I don't know how much it will give us, but Turo gave us 200 miles to run. So let's do it. Let's exit. I don't know, go upstairs maybe. This is level B. Let's go upstairs. Let's get some sunlight on this thing. All right, so we just went to like close to Liberty Island to get some drone shots. The car seems pretty amazing. The panoramic windows are insane. And we're heading to Javits Center since it's the auto show week. And there's going to be a lot of car enthusiasts out there who are going to want to basically see this thing. But right now we're going to cross the Holland Tunnel to go to Manhattan. But this is it. This is it for now. All right, so we're in the city now. A lot of people are definitely turning their heads towards this car. It's like attention grabber. Everybody's looking. Everybody wants to take a picture or video of it here in the city. Yeah. I stopped right here by Meatpacking District. Let's do the comparison between the Rivian R1 and the Cybit Fuck. As I said, it's getting a lot of attention. But that's the visual comparison from outside. Pretty sleek. Pretty sleek design. And we have the R1 over here. All right, so basically earlier we were by Rivian and now we're right in front of Lucid. These are also electric cars. One thing that's like perfectly similar to Lucid and uh, the Cybertruck is the lights. As you guys can see, the lights are lighting up all across the car and this car has the same thing. It lights up right up front. I don't know if Tesla was intentional by making the light very similar to this, but that's what it is. Cybertruck and Lucid have the same kind of light right across the car itself. And plus, th these both look like futuristic right next to each other. They look like they belong in Mars. You know what I mean? Out of space. But that is it. Cybertruck, Lucid Air. And by the way, we're getting a lot of looks from people. A lot of attention. All right, so we're here in Meatpacking District by Tesla. So a couple months ago, if you guys remember, I made small reel. They had a Tesla Cybertruck right up front, but now they don't. So Tesla does not have Tesla Cybertruck inside of their showroom. Pretty insane, no? We got one over here to review, but that is it. As you guys can see they have Model Y, Model X, and a Model 3. I'm in the weird. I'm that. Hello, how you doing? This is the Model Y. We wanted to check out Tesla. You guys have the Cybertruck here or no? A, a one? An employee's car. Employee's car. Him? Okay, yeah. So we, we, we got one out there. Is that yours? Uh, yeah, we're renting out for a day to, you know, do content and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get public opinion. I see one wrapped over there. Can we check it out? You can check it out. You just got it. This is this is the new Model 3, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Entirely refreshed. How's the driving experience been with it? Pretty great. I like it. Did they wrap it? It's a wrap, yeah. I see. A lot of people are saying that it's like rusting, right? Like on the forms and stuff. I mean, this one, this one obviously pre wrap. I see. This looks sick. I don't understand. What is foundation? Like, is that like it's the first? It's like the first whatever amount of cyber trucks that are being produced. Okay. That amount is like going to be foundation. So, like, pretty much everyone that's coming out right now. Yeah our foundation series Cybertruck. So as of right now, there's the dual motor, the tri-motor, the all-wheel drive or the Cyber Beast, right? Yeah. So with tri-motor, uh, basically when you get the email that tells you it's time for you to start configuring your Cybertruck, you're gonna have the option to pick between right now for all-wheel drive yeah. or Cyber Beast. They're both all-wheel drive, but you're looking at a dual or a tri-motor. And Cyber Beast is triple motor. Tri-motor, yeah. Think yeah. of it like, um, to an extent, like, how we have a Model S, uh, we have one that's on a test drive, but 
There's a like a Model S long range, yeah. Model S Plaid, right? Yeah. So the Plaid, or if you look at that Model X that we have in the showroom, that's a Plaid. Okay. Um, a Plaid has an additional motor in it, allows it. It's more performance based, right? Yeah. If you're going for a Cyber Beast, you're probably looking to be more performance based, which is cool because it's like you know faster zero to sixty time. To your point, right now, if you're looking for like a just probably utility truck to kind of a it's quick too because i believe it's 4.1 or 4.20 to 60 on the all-wheel drive yeah you know you still you know can have fun with it i'm sure you're having you have fun with it right um, i'm having plenty of fun yeah. with it yeah thank thank you for the information would you want to come inside and like show, show us yeah yeah okay what was your name by the way my name is Barbus. brian nice to meet you nice to meet you it's basically obviously with tesla you're tons of tech here yeah so you know i know you got it for 24 hours one of the things i would highly encourage you to do while you have it is obviously look through it play around with the different features the foundation series it just comes configured with full self-driving so it okay. comes with the car every car has the hardware to actually do it then the software is different right so like for yeah. example you let's say you're buying a model 3 a model sx yeah you could essentially buy the car without having the software enabled but you can always turn it on and off so you have version 12 Full self-driving would be, I would enter like the address. Yeah, so you would enter, for example, I don't know, let's say uh, World Trade Center, right? Yeah. Plug in World Trade Center, then you enable the car, seatbelt on, everything like that. Yeah. This kind of monitors your your eyes, right? Okay. So you yeah. know, obviously the more time you're looking away, it's going to remind you. Exactly. Again, keep in, keep in consideration, while it's really good, it's still a beta, so you will be told to like, you know, every once in a while put your hand on the wheel, just kind of, yeah, obviously kind of, Again, it's beta, so it'll say, yeah. hey, put your hands on the wheel just to kind of keep the car enabled for full self-driving. To go to go into more details like A, plug-in location, B, start car. We also have something called auto shift at a park, which is actually really cool too. That's another little feature you would get into. Also with Cybertruck too, what's really cool is like with the different dynamics, you could kind of like, you see this off-road. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys are gonna be in the city for the most time? Yeah. Okay, cool. So like auto shift out of park, that's another feature. For example, like let's say you're just parked, you put your foot down on the brake, the car will automatically know which way to go. For example, there's a car in front of you. Yeah. And obviously the best way to go is reverse. It'll yeah. immediately shift into reverse. Okay. Um, now, when you put in full self-driving, like I said, it is what it is. It'll drive to where you need to go. If there ever is a point where it needs to do what's called a disengagement, mm -hmm. it'll actually ask for your feedback as to like why it got disengaged. We use that information to kind of for the next updates to be put out there to like enhance the experience. Uh, thank you for the yeah, information, yeah, man. man. Absolutely. Yeah. Glad you guys got to do this. It's really cool. Yeah. We get a lot of looks, right? We get a lot of looks, yeah. Definitely a lot of people are looking. And plus we're getting to interview, like we interviewed more than 50, maybe 75 people already. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Brian. Try out FSD sometime, all right? Gotcha, all right, thank you. Thank you. But I'm with my buddy here, Laziz. Say what's up. Hey, what's up, man? So basically we met Laziz with Isan back in my city when we traveled in 2021. And the reason I got into like reviewing cars and tech, I mean, I was already reviewing tech, but not cars is because of him. His channel was mainly reviewing cars, especially General Motors in Uzbekistan. And that's how he came to the US with, by reviewing cars. He said he wants to review cars in America and that's why he's here. And he's helping me out today to get reaction of our people in the city. So, thank you. All right, so we're here in Times Square with the Cybertruck. Lizzie and I were like basically filming, getting reaction from the public. As you guys could see, it's getting a lot of attention from the public. A lot of people think it looks futuristic. I got comments saying it's angular. That is it. We still have to uh, do a full review in a warehouse that I booked in Brooklyn. So we got to go to Brooklyn in order to fully review this thing. I like you, Werner. Take care. Have a good one. New Yorkers love it. New Yorkers love this thing. All right, so we are in Brooklyn and Midwood. I just got a haircut from my barber. He wanted to sit down and see the car. Like it? Beast. A lot of windows. It's nice. It's yeah. Cool. It's all automatic. Let me drop this. Alright, Broski. We gotta leave. Thank you so much. We'll see you again.
Beta Zim or Jedi Kiria. We're already halfway done eating the food. So exhausting. Full day of shoot. Haven't ate anything throughout the day. That just started. But our cyber truck is right in front of this fancy here. Uh Kiria restaurant. Really big hardest. One thing that we completely forgot to do is the steering wheel. Right, how I'm moving the steering wheel with how me went, right? What the? Watch both of the steering wheels. Both wheels. They're turning. Should I bring it up? So we made it home. I just parked the cyber truck in the garage. If you just gotta bring the car back to Jersey City tomorrow noon, but we're getting a couple of more shots here as earlier. I told you guys the wheels are pretty crazy. Well, now, what do you think about it? You like it? Yes, I do. Yeah? I could, yes, I do. <laughs> I, I went around, I went well, I came up. Four block, I, I pissed you. I said, what? What was that? Oh, I'm so sure. I can't remember. I, I, I don't care what this is. Yeah. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's aliens. Yeah, that's, from yeah. Mars. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. That's what they should have named it. Yeah. They should have named it Elliot. Yeah. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Wow. It's amazing, man. How much do you think it costs us to rent this thing out for a day? Oh, let's see. To rent it out? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we're renting it out for a day, 24 hours. How much do you think it costs us? In Grand's area. You're close, you know, but not 1500. No, a thousand. A thousand. I was no. going to say a thousand. I made money off of this, if you could believe it or not. Today, I believe it. There was a rapper. He was like, Yo, I want it. I want it. I want this to be my music video. I was like, 400. <laughs> really? 10 minutes, 400. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now it's only going to cost you 600. Yeah. <laughs> and that good. God bless you. Smart. You're smart. All right, everyone's gone. It's like probably midnight. I'm so, so tired. I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up tomorrow. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Too tired. <laughs>